Good morning. Good morning. What a fantastic morning. As we were just praying in the chapel, this is the day the Lord has made, and we continue to rejoice, being very glad in it. Thank you for being here for our 97th commencement exercises at Church Farm School. If I could ask you to please stand, I'll ask our chaplain, John Daniels, to lead us with an invocation. Let us pray. By your favor, O oh Lord, we gather as a church farm school, humbly asking that you bless our lives with hope, enlighten our learning with wisdom, grace our diversity with understanding, inspire our friendships with love, and nurture kindness in our service to others. Grant that being so united in this fellowship, we may joyfully follow where your footsteps lead in the building of your kingdom. Amen. Let us pray together the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. <laughs> Mr. Burns, who is chair of our board of directors, other members of the board of directors who are assembled this morning, Mr. Mubanu. Vice President of the Alumni Council, other members of the Alumni Council, and other visiting members of the alumni body, honored guests. Many of you have traveled the distance, whether near or far, to celebrate this happy occasion. We are particularly glad to welcome moms and dads, grandmoms and granddads, brothers and sisters, extended family members, visiting friends of the class of 2019. Please know that my colleagues who live and work here, the administration, faculty, and staff of Church Farm School, join me in welcoming all of you to our 27th, our 97th commencement exercises and the occasion by which we honor the work and mark the achievements of today's favorite sons and Griffin brothers class of 2019. It's very exciting to be on the lawn on this Memorial Day weekend and in the shadow of our great chapel for today's commencement ceremony, bringing with it the underclassmen, members of the classes of 2020, 21, and 22. Along with the baccalaureate service we just celebrated a moment ago, it adds to a time-honored tradition, one that marks that transition where CFS graduates move ahead to college and adult life as young men, fully prepared to meet the challenges of continuing education and responsible citizenship. <coughs> as such, it is a special day, and you honor our school by your presence and witness to the goodness that such a milestone represents. Not that long ago, maybe three, four, six Septembers ago, we were speaking of future opportunity and the road ahead. Today we celebrate the many wonderful accomplishments and goals attained, particular achievements that have been produced by hard work, dedicated effort, and the inspired pursuit of dreams, not held solely for self alone, but for one another, in the classroom, on the athletic fields, in our living together, and ultimately in the offering of our talents and ourselves and servants to others and our world. To the members of the class of 2019, as you reflect on your time at CFS, let me assure you that your personal collective efforts 
have produced meaningful and lasting contributions to our community, its continuing prosperity, and its future welfare. Think for a moment that you're that class that has helped us start a second century, and even more recently, breaking new ground for new and improved buildings on our campus. Church Farm School is better because of you, because you have been here. We are family, and I trust that you know, now know and realize in the most profound and meaningful of ways those things that have made this time together over these last many years so purposeful and rewarding. Know that you have made much of your opportunities. Rather than the challenges, adversity, or any adversary prevent your forward path or have the final say, you have found the strength to persevere and work through the important intellectual, physical, and spiritual challenges that you have encountered in your time here. Ones we believe that have helped you become more resourceful, more intellectually able and curious, spiritually strong, confident, resilient, and yes, ready at last to move on to the challenges of higher learning and responsible living. You are ready, and you have made your school and your families very proud. Whether you have been on our campus for six years or fewer, each of you has become to one another a Griffin brother, a good friend, and now a lifelong companion. Beyond the work and effort given to meet the challenges of our educational program in its entirety, you have been to one another that supporting shoulder, listening ear, and trusting confidant of a faithful friend. These are the things that endure, continue to build on this foundation. You now leave these walls one final time as a student, and we urge you to never let go of the bonds of friendship that you have forged. They will continue to serve you and help shape your life for the better. You now have as your most enduring possession, even that beyond perhaps a diploma, a most wonderful and magnificent gift that well-deserved and deep reservoir of friendship from which you can draw strength, encouragement, and spiritual nourishment wherever you go and in whatever circumstances you may find yourself in. Trust this, lean into this, and continue to believe in one another. So to the class of 2019, this is your day. Please all stand that we may congratulate you on your achievements. of your efforts 
the CFS diploma, recognizing that as you do, the moment is in truth a new start, a new beginning. The school's threshold over which you'll pass one final time places you on life's greater journey, more confident in trusting in yourselves and one another. So the road ahead awaits. And even then, we hope that from time to time, you also won't forget to look back, come back, and give back. Our school will only be richer when you do. God speak to all of you, and again, congratulations. Centering perhaps on the choir, where he has expanded his growing ability and love for music. With a strong sense of giving back, he has regularly served as a school ambassador, a role that has brought him into welcome contact with visitors to the school with whom he has shared his great passion for all things CFS. A perennial member of the academic honor roll, he constantly at or near the top of all academic achievement across the school, Nam has also explored the world of athleticism, even courageously <laughs> venturing into the world of competitive wrestling. <laughs> all the things you can do right here at Church Farm School. He has been a loyal participant in community service, and most recently as an officer of numerous clubs and activity, as a prefect, also in Cushman Cottage. Winner of the Clement H. Darby Memorial Award for the Greatest Development Through Music, the Garland Prize for English, Nam plans to attend Pomona College next year. The only regret we have there is that it's just too many thousands of miles away for regular visits. So please join me in welcoming Nam as our fellow. Good morning, faculty, staff, students, friends, and family. And Mr. Wigan, whose birthday is today. So happy birthday, Mr. Wigan. <laughs> I am deeply honored and humbled by the opportunity to represent the class of 2019 in this year's commencement celebration, celebrating our effort and achievement over the past four years. Truthfully, it took me way longer than I had expected to write this speech. As I open up my laptop every night, rummaging through the internet for inspirational quotes or life advice, I even search up how to be funny during a graduation speech. <laughs> Nothing seems to even come close to doing justice to my time at CFS. As thus, while there will still be an abundance of inspirational quotes and life advice in this speech, I will only be speaking from my own personal experience and hopefully from the collective experience of the class of 2019 on the CFS journey that we have traversed together. First of all, I would like to recognize the few individuals, um, one of the few many who have molded and shaped me to the individual that I am today. To Mr. Gress, you are the best mentor, choir director, teacher, and advisor that I could have possibly asked for. I am grateful for the boundless compassion and patience that you have exhibited towards me, whether it was during my tumultuous freshman year in choir, 
or during our countless voice and piano lessons that we were completely unprepared for. I continually seek refuge and guidance in your wisdom and your unfaltering faith. Thank you for leading me towards the path of Christ, having him dwell in me and I in him. Being your student has been the definition of a life-changing experience for me. To Ms. Hirsha, even though I'm still mad at you for leaving us so abruptly, you brought so much love and joy to my world. So many times, I would bust into your room needing to vent my frustrations, and your hug would make me feel like the world is all right again. Thank you for being my most trusted confidant, for being an incredible mentor and teacher. Mademoiselle, je t'aime toujours. Mr. Fulmer, thank you for the best class that I had taken at CFS. Your class has taught me to think critically and uh, for me to nurture my love of US history. Outside of class, you have endlessly inspired me with your leadership and the love that you have towards your students. You are basically a more athletic and less boring version of John Green. <laughs> Mr. Smith, thank you for bullying me for the past four years. I was terrified of you, freshman year. Let's face it, who wasn't terrified of you? But gradually, you have showed me that you're just a big, soft teddy bear. <laughs> you have always been a steadfast advocate for me, and I'll miss someone calling me sushi boy or fat boy. <laughs> There's so, so many other faculty members that I would like to recognize. Thank you, Ms. Hayes for the literary discussions and for the kindness you have shown me as a teacher and cottage parent. Mr. Labrador, for the two hardest classes we all have taken at CFS. Ms. Scott, for the compassion that you showed me as I navigated the daunting college process. You all have made an indelible impact on my life and the life of many others. And I would not be here without your guidance, love, and patience. As I previously mentioned, I am not here today to impart any profound wisdom. Rather, I will be talking about what CFS means to me. To me, it means transformation. As a freshman coming to CFS, I was absolutely, utterly terrified. Throughout middle school, I had struggled to belong, and I feared that CFS would be the same. This fear caused me to put a facade of confidence and a false air of superiority that was really just a reflection of my insecurities. Even though I was fully expecting to be alone for the whole school year, I was instead showered with care and love from student and faculty alike. I instantly found people that I could connect to on so many levels to push me to put my guard down and eradicate whatever fears I had in the beginning. These are the same people that have been resolutely by my side through good times and bad during the past four years in this collective CFS journey. They taught me to believe in myself when even I didn't believe in myself and fostered my growth into the young man standing in front of you today. In my college essay, I likened the power outages that happened in my hometown, Vietnam, when I was young uh, to the darkness that I had felt when I first came to the US. The people of CFS and the CFS community had brought light into my life and brought me out of that darkness. And this light will continue to shine bright in my heart whenever I go. Not only within myself, I see this transformation happening to every member of the class of 2019. All of you have undergone immense growth or whether, and have become gifted leaders in various aspects of life, whether academic, social, or athletic. With members of the class of 2019 pursuing disciplines ranging from visual arts to music to maritime engineering and astrophysics, we might be the most well-rounded group of students in CFS history. Let's give a round of applause to that. If you were to tell me that freshman year, that Jeremy Acosta would become a talented pianist, that Nick Ramdeo would become Instagram famous, <laughs> that little body Joseph and Valerio would become co-top captains of the wrestling team, I would probably have just laughed at you. 
But now, all of this has become true and so much more. I'm so proud of the progress that our class has made and I hope that we will stand as a testament to how C of S can uplift and transform its students' life. For the underclassmen, I understand that this is incredibly cliche, but make the best out of every opportunity that you have here. Allow the C of S community to transform your lives and make you into mature young men as it has done to us. It is easy to engross yourself in resentment and distance yourself from this place. But when the time comes, you will regret not making the best out of it. Reach out to faculty members. Make meaningful friendships. This place will only become your home if you allow it to be. If you open up yourself to the possibility of growth. Furthermore, think about the legacy that you will leave here when you graduate. As in the word of Miss Scott, we create magic at CFS every day. CFS might not be perfect, but it is magical in the way that it transforms you, in the people that uplift and care about you every single day, and in the sense of community that remains unwavered even in the darkest times. In the words of Roald Dahl, those who don't believe in magic will never find it. Will you find this magic and make the best of your time here? I think every member of the class of 2019 could confidently say that we have. Class of 2019, this has been a very tumultuous year for us. We have undergone tremendous hardships together, and I know that many of you, including myself, have been frustrated and angered at some of the events that happened this year. Our class fabric has been challenged time and time again by circumstances both within and beyond our control. However, when you think back about your time at CFS, I urge you to focus on the wonderful memories together, on how CFS had completely transformed you. As I prepared this speech, all I could think of was the late nights of collective procrastination, the white water rafting trip that I still have PTSD from, <laughs> the senior pit dog piles, and various other shenanigans that we experienced together. Through thick and thin, we have always prevailed and emerged stronger than before. I am incredibly grateful for that. In the next steps of your life, I urge that you hold a piece of CFS in your heart and cherish all these memories that we've made together. I hope that you will celebrate the mature and confident young men that you have become and remember the role that CFS has played in shaping you into that. In times of crisis, always know that your Griffin brothers love you and that this place will always be not yours, but our collective home. Thank you. turn now to the presentation of a few end of the year awards presented by members of the administration, hopefully as a good and sound demonstration of our continuing pursuit for collegiality and shared responsibility. I'll start with Mr. Seeley. Senior Class Faculty Award. The Senior Class Faculty Award is voted on by members of the senior class and awarded to the faculty member who best exemplifies the qualities of being an encouraging and involved member of the Church Farm School community. This year, the Senior Class Faculty Award is presented to Ms. Robbie Young. Thank you. one of our graduates heads to one of our nation's military academies 
We're joined by Commander David Augustin of the United States Navy, who is also a United States Naval Academy Blue and Gold Officer. If I could have him come for the presentation. milestone for, for these young men and their families. My name is Commander Dave Augustine. I am a uh, 2002 graduate of the Naval Academy, submarine officer, and I am the blue and gold officer for the Church Farm School. And in this role, I assist uh, young men and women through uh, navigating the complex admissions process to the Naval Academy. And it is my distinct pleasure to have the opportunity today to recognize the significant honor Sebastian Corrales has earned by receiving an appointment to the United States Naval Academy in Annapolis, Maryland. This year, Sebastian was one of about 16,000 students from throughout the nation who applied for one of approximately 1,200 seats at the Naval Academy's class of 2023. The admissions process is unique. and requires each student to apply for and receive a nomination to plead from their congressman or senator, to pass a rigorous physical fitness and medical exam in addition to the usual submission of transcripts, recommendations, and essays. Screening is thorough, with a focus on well-rounded individuals who have demonstrated leadership potential and willingness to accept responsibility, as well as outstanding academic credentials. An appointment to the United States Naval Academy is the equivalent of a full four-year scholarship, including all tuition, room, and board, medical and dental benefits, and a monthly midshipman stipend. After completing the four-year curriculum at the Naval Academy, students receive a Bachelor of Science degree in one of 25 majors and earn a commission as an officer in the United States Navy or United States Marine Corps. Church Farm School should be very proud of Sebastian's achievements. And with that, I'd like to present Sebastian his offer of appointment.
morning. It is still morning. Yes, it is. The Molstein Family Foundation was established in 1999 for the purpose of providing scholarship awards to outstanding students who reside in Chester County and who have attended and graduated one of four Chester County schools that include Henderson East Coast Golf Course Church Farm School. Each year, the trustees of the Molstein Family Foundation name four $6,000 scholarships to be paid over a consecutive four-year period to students who have been accepted and attend a four-year college or university. Traits and qualifications of the students that are most sought after from the foundation and ultimately secure this award include academic excellence, membership in the National Honor Society, leadership, and community service. I'm very pleased and honored to award this year's Molson Family Foundation Scholarship Award to James Patrick McAvoy III. Church Farm School and a great believer in each and every Church Farm School boy. The scholarship fund is designated to support boys in good academic standing and who require financial assistance to continue their academic career by providing a thousand dollar scholarship for their first year of college. This year there are four men who have been selected to receive this award. Please come forward together. John Anthony Cortazar, N.J. Ferris Mahala, Brandon Alexander Miller, Anthony James Thompson. Established in 1974 by the Alumni Association to help a graduating senior continue his academic education beyond high school and honors a man who started his 49 year connection with Church Farm School as a student in 1921. Following, followed by his service to our school as a teacher, coach, department chair and principal. The award is a $1,000 scholarship paid towards the first year of college. The Earl B. Wilkins Memorial Scholarship Award is presented this year to Doe Not Not. <laughs> Good morning. 
morning, everyone. You guys look wonderful today. So proud of you. And you know what? Let's give a round of applause to all the parents and families who came down for you guys today. So this morning, I'm honored to give the Earl B. Wilkins Memorial Award for Service. This is given to a senior or underclassman that has demonstrated dedication, commitment, and excellence in providing service to the school in the current academic year or during their time at CFS. This year, we are proud to present this to three students, Anthony James Thompson, Kavon Velasquez, Velasquez Thompson, and Joseph David Medina Zarate. to recognize several members of this year's graduating class. First are the Griffin Awards for Excellence in Athletic Achievement, given annually to young men who have finished remarkable athletic careers, set significant records, or achieved other outstanding accomplishments. The first recipient is a multi-sport athlete and a key contributor on the basketball court. He really made his mark on the baseball field where he ranks near the top of every pitching category. Through the school's first no-hitter, and struck out 193 batters in 140 innings, both records that will be hard to beat. Please join me in congratulating James McAvoy. champion with 80 career wins to his name. He won three league titles, the district twice, and was a two-time state qualifier. Please join me in congratulating Noel Jilges. <laughs> Please join me in congratulating Nick Carrera. The fourth athletic excellence recipient is a fierce competitor. Ruthless on the wrestling mat, he had a career record of 111 wins and 21 losses. A four-time league champion, our first four-time district champ, and a two-time state qualifier. His legacy is secure as one of the finest wrestlers in school history. is secure as one of the finest wrestlers in school history. Please join me in congratulating Sebastian Corral. The Orville R. Prosser Senior Scholar Athlete Trophy is awarded to a senior who graduates as a top athlete while consistently achieving excellence in the classroom. This year's recipient is a standout student and successful member of our soccer and wrestling programs, well known for being a great teammate with a tireless work ethic. Please join me in congratulating Joseph Medina. Morning 
is the Michael Wallington Class of 1960 Memorial Award for Sportsmanship, selected by the varsity head coaches of our athletic programs. The description of this award captures the essence of the Church Farm School athlete. To that student who best shows the attributes of a good sportsman, not necessarily the first place finisher, rather the boy who does the best he is capable of doing no matter the odds. To that boy who, although everyone else has finished the race, sprints to the finish who plays the final minutes of a hopelessly lost contest as hard as the first, who practices when not required, who accepts both victory and defeat quietly and finally, to that boy who has great personal competitive spirit, but who is always ready to help his teammates for the good of the Church Farm School. I am honored to present the 2019 Michael Wallington Sportsmanship Award to Brian Valerio. <laughs> before you to present the Dr. Guy Mariner Award. Guy Mariner, a renowned educator, musician, and composer, was born in Auckland, New Zealand in 1898. In 1920, he came to the United States and traveled extensively through the East Coast, giving recitals and teaching at various institutions. During his time in Philadelphia, he taught at the University of Pennsylvania and the Church Farm School. An award was named in his honor and is given to that member of the student body who without regard to scholarship, athletic, or vocational ability is the most honorable and upright and who is most unselfish and thoughtful of others. The Dr. Guy Mariner Award this year is presented to Brian Franco Palacios. <laughs> senior or underclassman who has shown the greatest overall improvement in, in the current academic year or during his time at CFS. The Mr. and Mrs. Lardner Howe Memorial Award for Greatest Improvement this year I'm proud to announce is Jeremy Acosta. <laughs> and admiration for that student whose particular character, ability, maturity, moral authority, spiritual balance, leadership, and overall contributions to the school have made an enduring and lasting impact on the entire community. And its recipient represents all we believe any church farm school Griffin would aspire to become. The winner is selected by vote of the faculty. A four-year Griffin, this steady, respectful, hardworking, and responsible young man knows how to take care of business, and in doing so has demonstrated a strong, mature, and unwavering personal character while serving as an exemplary role model for others. Making the most of opportunities to be found, he has grown steadily and surely. For example, having no prior experience, he worked his way into becoming a varsity athlete soccer and wrestling, 
the latter a team on which he also was named co-captain. His evenness, determination, and positive spirit place him as a genuine respected leader among his peers and as a cottage prefect working most closely with the newest of our griffins in the ninth grade, making sure that they were at first warmly welcomed and then well adjusted to the challenges and joys of our living together on this campus. A regular honor, stool, honor roll student, he has received numerous distinctions and awards, most recently a Tuesday night's award ceremony when he received prizes for excellence in chemistry and the Abby Schumann Award. A sound, steady, and shining example of what it means to do and be your best. The recipient of this year's Headmaster's Watch is David jo uh, Joseph David Medina Zarate. Yeah. Congratulations to the class of 2019 on behalf of the faculty and staff of the school. It's my honor and privilege to call you all up to receive your diplomas. Jeremy Joel Acosta. James Andrew Cromarty the third.
Chase Hendrick Jan Engel.
Ryan Franco Palacios. Sebastian Alberto Santiago.
again, congratulations to the entire class of 2019. You now are ready to depart for the future that awaits each of you. And as you do, I would like to remind your younger brothers who have now witnessed your success that they are to remain here over the weekend to continue their studies in preparation for three days of exams. So in order to bid our fond farewell and traditional handshaking ceremony, we'll allow the class of 2019 to process out of the tent first, where they will reassemble on Chapel Lane to be greeted by faculty, staff, and their Griffin brothers, their younger brothers. Let me kindly ask members of the audience to let the procession go first, followed by the board of directors, the administration, faculty, and then the younger classes for this grand concluding ceremony. Let me ask the class of 2019 to please stand. May the road rise to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warmly upon your face, and may the rains fall sweetly upon your field. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the hollow of his hand. You may flip your caps. Congratulations. Hey!